guys, how's it going? I've just got a Afterglow controller for my Xbox 360 because my, my old Afterglow controller was actually broke. Um, the right bumper stick thing were broke and weren't working, so I just thought, you know, I might as well get a new controller because I was going to get one of those plug and play things for 360, and I thought for an extra, like, say, you know, six quid or whatever it is, get a con new controller and a, a controller that I actually like. So I've got this again, um, I didn't do a video for the first one I got because it's actually a present so I just didn't do a video. Um, I'm going to unbox it, show you what's inside, that's what it looks like when it's lit up by the way. Um, wired controller, it's got some options there or some uh, little thing, free lighting modes, uh, custom engineered smart track technology for superior analog stick performance and accuracy and it is a really good um, you know, really good control. I've got to admit, and it's also uh, got a 10 foot cord. So if you've, you know, if your TV's far away from your actual console, that's uh, that comes in handy for sure. Just gonna get it out of the box. There you go. So here's the controller. And there it is. Yeah, it feels good. That it actually, it actually looks a lot better than the um, the original control because this one's green. If you can see there, green behind. I actually had to change that because I broke it the thumbstick a couple of months back playing uh, Dead Island. It actually looks a lot better like that. There's a button there for lights. I'll actually plug it into Xbox 360. Two seconds. Plug it in there, and I'll show you what it's all about. There it is. You can't see how good it is there, because I've literally got light on in my room, so it doesn't look as good. But even with light on, and the light on me, um, the video cam, it still looks really good. You know, and I'll tell you something. Um, I remember when I was younger, there was a, you know, a Game Boy. I don't, I don't know if they called it just like Game Boy see-through, or whatever they called it but you know you could see all the gadgets and all the stuff inside and it looked really cool and I actually had one um, and I've always liked anything like that so where well, you can actually see how the controller works it makes it that much better in my opinion so anyway thanks for watching this video guys there'll be plenty more videos coming up and uh, take care